Kathy, go ahead. Chime on in here and talk about your reaction to what you've seen tonight from both Patty and from um, Smiley. I see an evening that I hope is not premature. I look at this and I think there's still a lot of votes to come in, and I hate it when we actually get a little far out other than the data here. But the fact is, is that uh, we saw what we saw the entire campaign. Patty very measured. The fact that she had the cast of thousands behind her, and that really is less than half of her whole family. I should say, I still have the mom in tennis shoe. You came up with this, right? That we actually helped put together for the first campaign for Patty Murray. And I can actually say that when um, Tiffany Smiley started using, but wait a minute, this is a new mom in tennis shoes I'm running as. Yeah. I thought that it was a really interesting move in time to be able to see Patty Murray, who's run forever as that mom in tennis shoes. And then here comes Tiffany that comes in with a brand new definition of what mom in tennis shoes means to her. And this campaign has been, if nothing else, creative. It has been, I would say, long. But more than anything else, it is um, the end result of the numbers that we see tonight is not worthy of the campaign each of them rate. Mm -hmm. Well, you bring up the numbers, but let's go back and talk to Brian and Frank because yes. they were in the middle of an interesting conversation yes. when Tiffany mm -hmm. started to talk, and then we'll break this down. And I know, Randy, you really enjoy getting into the numbers, but uh, Brian, if we can go back and you and Frank could talk about that path to uh, victory here and if there still is one that you were talking about earlier because that right was on. fascinating. Yeah, we were just talking, Frank. So there's about roughly 600,000 or right. so votes still out there. We're looking at Spokane County where Tiffany Smiley has a slight lead. Now, you were telling me earlier that she had to have an even bigger lead in some of these counties like this to have a chance of winning tonight. Correct. So, so with the 2.2 versus 2.8, the 600,000 that are out there are going to have to break significantly towards Tiffany. Right. So there's a couple things we could put into the mix. We know Republicans turn in ballots late. Let's take a look okay. at the entire state as we're and talking about this. Those, of those 600,000 that have yet to be counted, plus what's in the queue for the mail, we could see a, a break towards her. And this gap could narrow significantly. But to pick up, what are we talking about, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 points-ish? Is that about, did I get that right? Uh, it's going to be a difficult hill to climb. But if she brings it closer, that means that Patty has to pay a little more attention right. to the state. And help us a little more because that means that Patty has been, they have said to Patty that we want you to work a little harder for us. We've just and, got word that the uh, Associated Press has actually called the state for okay. Patty Murray tonight. Okay, well, there we go. So <laughs> now we're done. <laughs> but, but it'll be interesting to see what happens with the ballots that are still out there, as, right. as Kathy mentioned, too. Right. Because we could see things join. And we're at 57% reporting. Yeah, they're about, right. yeah so... It'll still be interesting to see Absolutely. how close it gets. Mike, what do you got? Uh, yeah, let's let's ask Randy and, and bring you in because um, I know you really like to drill down into the data. But yeah. are you surprised the Republicans aren't having a stronger showing right now? I, I, I am. I, I mean, uh, the the fact of the matter is, is I expected uh, uh, Tiffany Smiley to be much closer on election night than she is. And and she uh, uh, wasn't conceding the race right now, and there's no reason that she should. Uh, however, that speech she just gave uh, is the first speech of her uh, her campaign in uh, 2024. We've got a governor's or, election or coming up. <laughs> we do, or in 2026, when she decides to run for something else. But I suspect if the trend line keeps going in this direction, we've got about half the vote in in the state that we're going to count. We've got 1.7 million votes in. We're going to end up at about 3.5 million. Once you've fallen behind by 10%, mm -hmm. with half the vote, you've got to completely flip it over the other way. And yeah. it's not as if there is some pocket of votes that has been completely ignored out there, at least that we can see in the numbers that we have, that would show that path as much as I would like for there to be one. Now, there are several races around the state that are much closer and are going to be impacted by the votes that get counted tomorrow and Thursday.